internationalization of the Chinese yuan RMB is likely to have a positive impact on Africa's economy. According to Gibran Koreshi, an economist at CFC Stanwick Bank East Africa region based in Nairobi, the African continent is a huge importer of goods from China. 2015 was a, was a tumultuous year for a lot of African currencies. A lot of this weakness was on the back of uh, the perception that the U.S. Federal Reserve will eventually raise rates after you know a decade long. The, do the, the, the rally of the dollar in international markets you know, weighed down a lot of African currencies. Now, as I alluded to earlier, I think you know, the industrialization progress of various African countries has been stalling. So a lot of imports uh, and on the trade side of things is done with Beijing uh, for various reasons. So I think uh, in all reality, with the internationalization of the Ramimbi, it will definitely be a silver bullet in the sense that it will help reduce the import bill for a lot of these countries. Quereshi say that the internationalization of the RMB is both a practical and symbolic step. He added that the internationalization of the RMB will help to ease the process of settling trade transactions between China and Africa. According to The Economist, the internationalization of the Chinese currency will also help to deepen Sino-Africa trade. And I think the fact that the RMB is going to become more international, this is going to help deepen trade. Spe specifically with countries that are already, you know, trying to bolster relationships with Beijing. Um, you know, a lot of African countries have uh, infant manufacturing sectors. And, you know, as a result of this, it's important uh, to actually have the RMB as a reserve currency in, in this part of the world in order to reduce the fluctuations and the volatility on certain African, African currencies.